Congratulations to Carlsbad Promotions, this month's Patreon shoutout winner. Thank you for help supporting Channel G-Rated's content by becoming a patron on Patreon. Unit 8, Lesson 8. Describing Distributions on Histograms. Number 1. The histogram summarizes the data on the body lengths of 143 wild bears. Write a few sentences describing the distribution of body length. Be sure to comment on shape, center, and spread of the distribution. The distribution of the data is relatively symmetrical. The typical body length of the bears in the group is about 60 inches. There is a lot of variability of body length of the bears in this group. The length of the bears in this group range from between 35 inches and 85 inches. Number 2. Which data set is more likely to produce a histogram with a symmetric distribution? Explain your reasoning. Data on the number of seconds on a track of music in a pop album? Or data on the number of seconds spent talking on the phone yesterday by everyone in the school? Data on the number of seconds on a track of music in a pop album is more likely to be symmetrical because many of the songs are close in length. Some students won't talk much on their phone, while other students might talk on the phone a lot. Number 3. Decide if each data set might produce one or more gaps when represented by a histogram. For each data set that you think might produce gaps, briefly describe or give an example of how the values in the data set might do so. A. The ages of students in a 6th grade class. Since the ages of students in a 6th grade class are all very similar, there would be no gaps. B. The ages of people in an elementary school. Yes, there will be a gap in the data. The data set will include observations between 5 and 12, representing the students' ages, and the data set will also include observations over 18, representing the adult staff. There will be a gap between 12 and 18 because there are no people in an elementary school who are 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 years old. C. The ages of people eating in a family restaurant and the ages of people who watch football. Yes, there may be a gap between the ages of parents and their children eating in the family restaurant. And no, there probably won't be a gap in the ages of people who watch football because people of all ages watch football. D. The ages of runners in a marathon. Yes, there may be gaps in the data because a few people in their early teens might run, and a few people in their 70s or 80s might run in the marathon. Most of the runners are likely to be between 20 and 50 or 60. Number 4. Evaluate the expression 4x to the third power for each value of x. A. When the value of x is worth 1. When the value of x is worth 1, you're going to substitute the x with a 1. So you'd have 4 times 1 to the third power instead of 4 times x to the third power. And 4 times 1 to the third power is the same as 4 times 1 times 1 times 1, and that equals 4. So when the value of x is worth 1, 4x to the third power is equal to 4. b. When the value of x is equal to 2. When the value of x is 2, you're going to substitute the x with a 2. So you'd have 4 times 2 to the third power. And 4 times 2 to the third power is 4 times 2 times 2 times 2. Since 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, you'd multiply 4 times 8, and that would equal 32. So when the value of x is worth 2, 4 to the x to the third power is equal to 32. C. When the value of x is equal to 1 half. When the value of x is equal to 1 half, you're going to substitute the x with a 1 half. So 4 times x to the third power would be 4 times 1 half to the third power. And 4 times 1 half to the third power is the same as 4 times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. And 1 half times 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 eighth. So 4 times 1 eighth would be the same as 4 eighths 
and 4 eighths is equal to 1 half. So when x equals 1 half, 4 times x to the third power equals 1 half. Number 5. Jada drank 12 ounces of water from her bottle. This is 60% of the water the bottle holds. A. Write an equation to represent this situation. Explain the meaning of any variables you use. I came up with 12 equals 60 hundredths B or 12 equals 6 tenths B. Both 60 hundredths and 6 tenths represent 60% and B is the number of ounces of water the bottle holds. B. How much water does the bottle hold? The bottle holds 20 ounces. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 8, Lesson 8. Describing distributions on histograms. Mm -hmm.